Hi, my name is Kathy Goder and I'm an attorney at SGB. I work with victims of sexual assault and their families. Many of my clients have been sexually assaulted in places where they thought they'd be safe, places where they should have been safe, in schools, on the playground, in the bathrooms, and on school buses. As a general rule, schools are responsible for the safety of their students. If a student is sexually assaulted by another student, or by a teacher, or a staff member, the school may be held responsible. School liability kicks in when they knew or should have known that the offender posed a danger to other students. I've worked on cases where the school district knew that a perpetrator had offended against other students, yet the district failed to take any action to protect the other students. The result? Another victim. I've also seen situations where the school intervened by transferring the offender to a new school, but then took no action to adequately supervise the offender in their new environment. Or they transfer the victim, penalizing that student and doing nothing to supervise the dangerous conduct of the offender. Doing nothing, doing too little, penalizing the victim, all can work to impact the victim's ability to access their own education. And that's a violation of federal law. If you or a member of your family has been a victim of sexual assault in a school setting, contact an attorney who's worked on these kinds of cases. They'll be able to guide you in the correct direction.